What is up everyone? It is the endorsement and I can be very persuasive. Even at 70 miles an hour, going through the wonderful state of North Carolina, I had to stop at Smithfield's Chicken and Barbecue. That's right, a staple in the Carolinas. Uh, it is a small barbecue chain and I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. Whoa, bump. I know what you're saying. You're saying a chain restaurant for barbecue? Ah, uh, how could that be? Well, it's amazing. I've had it. I've never reviewed it, but I'm going to do it now. So let's take a look at this pulled pork sandwich with coleslaw, North Carolina barbecue style with the vinegar base. Take a look. Welcome back. How did you like the look of that sandwich? If you haven't got enough, here it is right here in my hand doing about 77 miles an hour. So we're going to get right into this because I want to and this is awkward. So there is the sandwich. Get a close up there. Pulled pork goodness. Smithfield chicken and barbecue. Pulled pork sandwich and coleslaw with a truck. Here we go. a whole new meaning to fast food get it because we're going fat meal but yeah the barbecue game is on point take a look at that chunk protruding out of the side there it's got the red pepper flakes all up in that vinegar based barbecue goodness that North Carolina is known for and that little bit extra from the coleslaw giving it that extra crunch that little extra texture to the sandwich it's, you know you can't go wrong it is barbecue utopia Smithfield style. I'm gonna go in for one more bite. So you definitely get that authentic barbecue flavor. If any of you out there have ever had just authentic North Carolina barbecue, smoked for hours on end and then just topped with that vinegar based sauce. So we're gonna rate this, shall we? On a scale of one to 100, with one meaning, do not even waste your money and 100 being the promised land of oh, I'm going to give the Smithfield chicken and barbecue pulled pork sandwich a rating of ninety nine zero. that's nine out of ten it would have been higher but this sandwich was almost five dollars so it took a little bit off for that it does get packed with a lot of meat that's what she said, and it does pack a great barbecue flavor, and you can't go wrong with it, but it is a little on the small side for the $5 that you're paying. So what do you want from me? Another review in the books, in the car. I don't even know what else to say, but definitely check me out on Instagram and Twitter, and don't forget to please like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone out there that criticizes food reviewers that they don't do reviews in different places, they're all sitting in a parking lot or they're at their dining room table. I'm in a car doing 80 miles an hour and every time I mention the speed it goes up a little. Who knows, maybe I'm doing 100. I don't even know because I'm not driving because that would have been something. All right, so thank you for checking out this video and stay tuned for some more reviews, probably in a little safer location and not vlog style, but you never know. All right, bye. Bonus footage. Smithfield Chicken and Barbecue Sweet Tea, the nectar of the gods. Drove 10 miles out of the way for this. 
it was worth it. I got the 44 ounce or 94 ounce sweet tea, but it is amazing. It has the crushed ice, which is paramount for a great sweet tea. And it also has the styrofoam cup that I wish everyone did, but they don't and they should, but they won't. But again, I think they should. Smithfield Chicken and Barbecue Sweet Tea doing 106 miles an hour. 95. Best sweet tea I've ever had. Why is it at 100? I don't know. <laughs>